Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're gonna jump back with our series with Calendar. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We take one subject, split it up, and do one video at a time, a micro video, uh, per, as you say. And that's what I love about this channel. So many of our the best ideas come from you guys. So everything, everything that is good here is is tied to you. So all right, we're going to be looking at uh, calendar uh, month range, the month range function. So calendar dot month range. So all right, now let's look at this. Uh, return weekday and number of days. So let's let's just look at it. So here we are, and it is going to be okay. So all right, what? So I don't know how you were taught growing up, but I know the one of going uh, counting your knuckles. But now that we have all these tools at our disposal, we do not need to count our knuckles. So this returns. Let's go ahead and bring this down here. Actually, let's run help on it. We know we know how to do that. So help calendar dot month range. Close that out. Okay. So now that we have that there. Okay, return weekday. So what that means is what day does one start on? So December has 31 days, and it is going to start for the year 2019, <clears throat> excuse me, on Sunday, because it is zero through zero through six, Monday is zero. So there we go. So December 1st has 30, excuse me, December has 31 days, and December 1st is going to be on Sunday. This is how month range function works. Very cool tool. You can go through, you can begin to plan if you're working on a planning uh, project. This is very handy and we're going to start kind of blending over into time. Uh, we, we're kind of going to spend a lot of time on time. We've uh, hinted that we're going to mess around with that with pandas. Uh, date time can be very tricky. Time zones very tricky. Conversion because it's not base ten. We've we've kind of talked about that, but that's where we are right now. So please drop any comments, questions, any video requests below. And the documentation is always I. That was one thing that I loved, but this one, as you can say, start on. I like, could have added just a couple more words. Just I was working with a student the other day and uh, showed them, had to show them the difference to make sure to look at return or in place. So just one other word there would have been perfect. So any questions, please drop them down below. Any video requests, same thing. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we do have an announcement coming very soon. Uh, I think the video is almost done. We'll have that uh, maybe in the next couple days. So as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.